Hello and welcome to Pokemon Laird. Today we're going to be unboxing a box of 10 Pokemon cards that I sent to Professional Sports Authority over a year ago to be graded. I just got them back in a bigger box, rounded by packaging. They came in this little box, which has some great packaging inside to keep your cards safe and sound until they arrive at your house. So let me get them out of this box and we'll see what grades I got. Alright, let's do that. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil First edition Arbok, the number 31 card. Looking at the front of this card, you can see that there's no scratches, bends, or damage to it. You can look at the centering of the card and you can see that it's really good from top to bottom and left to right. Looking at the edges of this card in the corners, there is no fraying or damage that I can see. Continuing with the back, you can see that the surface looks really good. I don't see any damage or bends. Looking at the centering, it looks really good from left to right and top to bottom. Looking at the edges and the corners, I don't see any fraying or damage at all. And hopefully it's a good grade. Let's see. It's a Gem Mint 10. Awesome. That card is over 20 years old and it's a Mint 10. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil, Krabby First Edition, the number 51 card. Looking at the front of this card, there's no uh, scratches or bends um, or other damage. Looking at the centering of the card, it looks pretty good. It might be slightly off to the right. Looking at our edges, they're nice and clean. I don't see any fraying or edge damage. Flipping over to the back, you can see that it looks really good. There's no bends or scratches. Looking at the centering, it's a little off to the left. But our edges and corners look nice, crisp and clean without any fraying or other damage. And our grade for this Krabby is going to be a mint 9. That's pretty good. Our grade review of a... 1999 Pokemon Fossil Ghastly First Edition, the number 33 card. Look in the front surface of this card. There's no bends, creases, or damage that I can see. No scratches. Look at the centering of this card. It looks really good from top to bottom and side to side. And looking at our corner and edges, I don't see any fraying or any other damage. Flipping over to the back, you can see that it looks as good as the front. There's no um, surface damage. There's no, um, the centering looks good from top to bottom and left to right. And our edges and corners are nicely crisp and clean. And that's going to give us a grade of Gem Mint 10. Awesome! A great review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Psyduck, the first edition number 53 card. Looking at the front surface of this card, there's no bends or scratches or any other damage looking at the centering of this card it looks good from the left to right and the top to bottom our edges are nice and corners are nice and crisp and clean this card looks really good continuing with the back you can see that our surface looks really good i don't see any bends or damage um, looking at our centering it looks really good from right to left and top to bottom our edges are nice and clean and our corners show no damage at all. And our grade's going to be a Gem Mint 10. Awesome possum, everybody. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Golduck, a first edition number 35 card. Looking at the front surface of this card, I do not see any bends or any scratches. The centering on the card looks really good from top to bottom and right to left. Looking at our edges and corners, I don't see any damage at them at all. Looking at the back, it looks as good as the front. I don't see any damage to the surface, any bends or anything like that. Looking at the centering, it looks really good from right to left and top to bottom. And finally, looking at all our edges and our corners, they are nicely crisp and clean and I don't see any damage there. And our grade's gonna be a mint nine that's pretty good especially for a 20-year card our grade review of a 1999 pokemon fossil slowpoke first edition the number 55 card looking at the front surface of this card i don't see any scratches or bends or damage looking at our centering our centering looks really good from right to left and top to bottom 
Our edges and corners look really crisp. There's no damage that I see there. Moving on to the back, you can see that it looks as good as the front. There's no um, damage or no bends. The centering looks good from top to bottom and left to right. And our edges look really good. Um, I believe this is going to be a really good card. And so our grade is going to be HM Mint 10. Nice. A 20 plus year old card grading Jam Mint 10. Nice. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Graveler, a first edition number 37 card. The front surface of this card looks really good. I don't see any bends or damage to it. Our centering from top to bottom and side to side both look with intolerance. Finally, our edges and our corners are really clean. I don't see any problem there. Flipping the card over, the back looks really good, just like the front. Um, there's no damage or bends. Looking at our centering, our centering is good from left to right and top to bottom. Our edges look really clean. I don't see any problems with the corners. And that will make our final grade of a gem mint 10. Nice! That is a great gem mint 10 graveler. Awesome. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Zubat, a first edition number 57 card. Looking at the front surface of this card, you can see that there's no scratches, bends, or any damage to it. Looking at the centering from left to right and top to bottom, you can see that they're probably within tolerance. And finally, looking at our edges and corners, you can see that they're nice and clean and there's no damage there. Moving to the back, you can see that it looks really good just like the front. There's no damage or scratches to the back surface. You can look at our centering. It looks really good from top to bottom and right to left. Our edges and corners look really clean. There's no damage there. And hopefully that will give us a good grade of Gem Mint 10. Nice. Our guide review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Magmar, the first edition number 39 card. Looking at the front surface of this card, there's no bends or scratches or damage to it. Looking at the centering, you can see that it's centered from top to bottom and left to right. Looking at our edges and corners, I don't see any damage there at all. Moving to the back, you can see that it's just as good as the front. There's no damage to the surface of the card, no bends. The centering of the card looks really good from left to right and top to bottom. And the edges look really nice and clean. Hopefully this will be a good grade. And the final grade is a Gym Mint 10. Woohoo! That's awesome. Our grade review of a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Energy Search First Edition number 59 card. Looking at the front of this card, you'll see there's no damage, no scratches, no bends. Looking at the centering from top to bottom, left to right, you'll see there's it's pretty even. Looking at our edges and our corners, I don't see any damage there. Looking at the back, you can see that the surface looks really good. There's no bends or scratches or damage. Our centering looks pretty good from top to bottom and left to right. Once you get to looking at our edges and our corners, you'll see that the upper right and lower right and lower left corners all have a little bit of fraying and damage. And that's going to give us a grade of mint nine. Not too bad.